David here, the Rebel Networker, and welcome back to this week's show. Um, today, I'm privileged to have with me Dr. Tommy Weir, who's uh, just released this book, which is Leadership Dubai Style. Um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd take this opportunity, while you're here, and uh, I'd ask you for some advice that you have for the listeners on, on really how they can start to build relationships, build their networks. What would be your one key advice for them? That's a great question, Phil. Um, if I was to draw in from this book, I mean, the key piece I'd be going into is the uh, probably the essence of what is really created success for Dubai. It's creating an environment where other people can succeed. I watch a lot of people when they go into networking, they're all about what I can get. So I want to meet you, and I look at the card and look at, ah, no good, ah, no good. You know, the kind of looking for what I can have. Rather than if you look at what Dubai has set up, even from the beginning of 1901, okay, when it started attracting traders from southern Iran to come and set their base up here, was saying, wait a minute, it's not about what can I get from you. It's what can I do to help you succeed, which in turn will help me succeed as well. And from a networking perspective and building a relationship and stepping out, I would literally be looking saying, what can that be like? And it's interesting if you look at that, if you really look at Dubai and what they've done for all of everybody who's in Dubai, is they've created an environment for others to come together. And when they're coming together, then you can jointly succeed. But there's a point I want to dive into. Um, and the research for this book, uh, I was sitting one day and a guy used the phrase, he said, you have to understand there's a circle of loyalty that sits underneath. A circle of loyalty. What do you mean? I'm like, there's a ruler and there's people. They said, no, no, no. They're loyal to each other. The ruler knows he has to be loyal to the people, and the people know that he, they have to be loyal to the ruler. If either side stops, it gets it out of balance. I thought, well, that's really interesting because if I'm networking, okay, I'm actually loyal to you, and hopefully you'll be loyal back. But what happens is if I'm loyal to you and you're not loyal back, I stop my loyalty. Mm -hmm. is typically what goes on. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you look at a circle of loyalty, it's not that two-way street, I am for what I get, it's I am because it's part of my, who I am. Mm -hmm. It's a full, almost one-way focus of loyalty to where I give and I give and I give, and then in turn, people give back. And I just have a, I have, I have a general view. The essence of leadership is helping other people succeed. That doesn't mean just my employees. I have a kind of a hunch that says if everybody in the world every day decided to help everybody succeed, the entire world would be a better place. So when I think networking, um, I'm a little bit right now into uh, into Malcolm Gladwell's uh, uh, no, I forgot which book I'm in. Uh, not Blink, uh, Tipping Point. Okay. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, and, and I'm thinking about how you know he's helping connect everybody else in that picture. And I think from a, a networking perspective, that's really what I should be doing. And in kind of a strange way, that's what Dubai has done. Dubai's created an environment for a lot of people to meet who wouldn't meet otherwise. And as a result, their business can get much better. Brilliant. And that kind of loyalty that Dubai gives back to the people that people give to Dubai. What you're about. I, absolutely. I mean, Dubai gives a tremendous amount to us. I mean, whether it be a tax-free environment, whether it be a good, safe place to live, whether it be uh, the chance to live here, and what do we, we give back. Mm. And I think just on this last point, what you were saying about loyalty and networking is so important. You know, a lot of people, when they go networking, they do what we call scorched earth networking. They go here, blitz everybody, grab the cards, nothing works, so they go to the next networking group, they blitz that one, and they just run from one network to the network, burning all their all their choices, really. Absolutely. Um, so if you can remain loyal to a network and to the people you meet, you've got more chance of success. Absolutely. I love it. Completely agree. Yeah. Love it. Excellent. Dr. Tommy Weir, thank, thank you so much. much. Thank and, uh, thanks for sure. Rebel Networker.